Hey guys, it's me again, and today I'm going to show you how to download and install Internet Explorer 8 for Windows XP, Windows Server 2003, and Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs. As you see, I got Internet Explorer 6. I did a fresh install. There's ways you can get Internet Explorer 8. Let me show you I'm running Internet Explorer 6. And you can also get it via automatic updates. But to see if it's in the automatic updates, you just go to custom install and you want to go to next. And it should be up right here on the Well we ain't gonna do it through automatic updates. Say if you got it turned off and you don't feel like doing it through automatic updates, you wanna download it. And install it yourself, okay? You want to go to www.microsoft.com slash windows You want to go to downloads and you just hover the arrow right here go to where it says Internet Explorer it's going to automatically detect what version of Internet Explorer you have and the OS you're running. Okay, when you get this screen, you want to uncheck. I would also like to set MSN and Bing for default. You want to go to free download. And just click run. Yeah, I have that. I have it where it'll close whenever it's done downloading. And. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pause and this is also going to show you how to up, uh, also upgrade from Internet Explorer 6 or 7 so I'm going to go ahead and get pause the video while it's downloading hey guys I'm back since let me go ahead and go back to my virtual machine real quick this is done downloading so you want to go ahead and click run after when you get a security warning it's going to extract the files from the installer that yet that Internet Explorer comes in okay when you get this screen you can improve Internet Explorer or you don't have to participate in the Internet Explorer in this I just put I usually participate every once in a while but why bother <laughs> anyway I'm not that crazy for Internet Explorer so we're gonna go ahead and go to next and you're going to accept the license agreement okay you do not have to install all the, the updates if you want so we're not going to be installing the updates because that's going to take way too long so we're going to go ahead and go to next this will be the fastest way to get Internet Explorer installed. And it's going to um, take a while to, insta to, get to install. And it don't take that long. So I'm going to go ahead and pause real for the moment while that's going. Alright, now since we're back from restarting, now we're going to go ahead and log back on the Windows. So it'll set up everything. Let me make sure we're, we are recording. Let me minimize this real quick. Okay, now we're good. So you should see this come up at when it's restarting. So it's saying it's setting up personalized settings for Internet Explorer and the main reason I made this video is because some people may want to learn how to upgrade to a newer version of Internet Explorer so now once everything's loaded up now we can go ahead and click on the Internet Explorer browser And it should be coming up in about a minute or so. We just give it a little time. And 
Now once everything's all loaded up, you should see this come up. You want to go to next. You can turn that on if you want to find related websites. But in, on Internet Explorer, they consider it suggested sites. So we can go ahead and turn it on. I'm okay. uh, it don't bother me. You can use the express settings, or if you want to use like your custom settings, like for like what you want to use for your search provider or whatever accelerators you have. So we're gonna go to choose custom settings. Let's say we're gonna keep the current the search dev provider. <laughs> because we're not going to really be using Internet Explorer for anything but for compatibility reasons that's the only thing yes we want to download the updates for the, our search provider let's keep the um, current accelerators because we ain't got no other accelerators to use it with or you can turn them off if you want but I'll just leave it as it is Turn on smart screen filter. Oh, would you like Internet Explorer to be a default browser? No, we can leave that as it is. And we can just hit yes for that compatibility settings. We gotta make sure something's set real quick. Usually whenever you install Internet Explorer, it will replace some of the sounds. We're going to disable that toolbar because, see now you're able to go on YouTube without a problem. See you're able to go on to the Internet. Let's see if you can watch one of my videos. Jeez. And that's another thing that you always want to install Flash. Let's install Flash because this is going to have a little bit of commentary, a little bit of shenanigans. Let's see if we can get internet. Let's mess around with it. Now you see that, and we are running Internet Explorer 8. There's yeah, gonna have a few little shenanigans <laughs> messing around. Well, I ain't gonna bother with that, so I hope you enjoyed the video. So, dirt. <laughs> uh, I'm. Please like and if you are new, new. If you want to watch more videos that I make, please subscribe. And uh, if you want to leave your opinions, just give me a comment or throw, send me a PM, which is a personal message, and um, I'll get to you whenever I could as possible. And like the video, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.